Hello, this is Frank bringing you your fourth Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the if and else statements. And I'm also going to teach you how to open a file and how to save a file. So to begin with, you're going to want to op open the idle. And then you're just going to go to new window from file. Snap it over. If you want to be like me. And then using what we learned in last episode the last episode we're going to use variables and user input to acquire an answer so we're going to do x equals input pick a number please and then we're going to do our if statement if x double equal sign and that's just how the computer uses um, inequalities and equalities. Um, double equal sign means that it has to be equal to. And then equal sign with an exclamation mark means not equal to. So double equal sign equals to 42. And if you do the syntax correctly and you put the colon at the end, it'll automatically indent the um, print. You know the ultimate answer. Else print new tag. And pretty much what an else statement does is it's in, if no other scenario is met, then it runs the else statement. If the if statement is met, then it will never run the else statement. The, it will just break. So we're going to have to go ahead and save it. So I'm going to save it as if else example one. So we're going to go ahead and run it, pick a number, I'm going to go with 42, and then I'm going to go ahead and run it again, pick a number, 1090, and then see it called me a new fag. And then to run this, you're going to exit out. You, you can run it just the way that I showed you by clicking run, or if you want to run it in the actual command prompt, you can just double click the file. Pick a number, 42, and it automatically exits us out because we haven't learned how to pause it. And once we learn how to use the pause function, then the command line will stay up as long as we need. But we'll, we'll learn that in a later episode. For now, we'll stick with if and else, and next episode we're going to be learning the while statement.